Good morning gamers, welcome to this week's episode of Will It Run? My name's Mark and I am here to show you whether or not Atomic Hearts will run on the most common hardware setups as per the Steam Hardware Survey. The reason that I want to make these videos is because a lot of the tech YouTubers out there are focused on the latest and greatest hardware. Well, we know as per the Steam Hardware Survey that the average gaming PC is actually starting to get a little bit long in the tooth, but that's not to say that that hardware isn't still usable. We wanna make sure that the latest games are running acceptably on those particular setups. And are you getting your value for money and bang for buck when you purchase the latest games? So, Atomic Heart. I can actually say that I'm pretty impressed with how that runs on our old hardware. The developers have obviously put in the legwork as far as optimization is concerned. So if you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to like and subscribe down below. You can also find the specs for our most common hardware setup in the description of the video. When you first launch the game, don't be alarmed. It will install shaders. So the opening menu will be a bit hitchy. After the shaders are installed, we'll have a poke around in the menu and see what kind of options are available for us before we actually get jumped into some gameplay. I'm pretty excited uh, about Atomic Heart. It does seem to run pretty well in the tinkering I did earlier. So to actually see what type of performance this thing will get, on our old hardware could be quite good. Very excited for that. So once these shaders get installed, let's have a poke around in the options menu and see what we can see. Okay, our shaders are installed. Let's jump into the menu and go into our options. Jump across to the quality tab and let's see what we have. We've got a custom preset, a low preset, a atomic preset. That'll be quite interesting to see if our hardware can run that one. Ultra, high, and medium, and low. Okay, so yes, this is uh, this is fairly, fairly straightforward there as far as that's concerned. We've got depth of field. We've got motion blur. Everybody knows my uh, feelings on motion blur. I do like to turn it either down or off. They do seem to have a low setting, just an on setting. That's quite, that's quite good there. AA settings there. We've got... Disable, medium, high. We have DLSS super resolution and DLSS frame generation. Now bearing in mind, we are running an older NVIDIA card, so this won't be available to us. So it'll be interesting to see how that runs. If anybody has a newer NVIDIA card that has DLSS frame generation, sound off in the comments below. Tell me about your experiences with that. We do have Fidelity FX Super Resolution for those of you with AMD cards for upscaling. We've got our animation quality. I'm assuming this will be low, medium, and high, and ultra, lovely. So there's quite a few selections there for the animation quality. Shadows, of course, ambient occlusion, visual FX, number of objects. Now, that can actually be quite a good one for lower end machines because it can reduce the amount of general clutter in the world and net you some good performance gains there. Materials, oh, I'm not sure, I'm not actually sure what materials is. I would assume that's the, something to do with maybe you collect in the game, potentially. We'll find out though. We've got volumetric fog there, post-processing, textures, texture, anisotropic filtering, 3D model quality, vegetation density, hard drive speed oh wow so you can actually choose if you have a hdd or an ssd that's a quite an interesting one there and shader cache obviously using the shader cache to boost gaming performance though we only recommend it if you have a pc with at least 12 gigabytes of ram luckily we do have 16 gigabytes of ram on our jane doe pc so Okay, let's jump into the game, test out the various presets, see how they run, run some benchmarks and give you some good data to see what sort of performance we're going to get out of our machine here. Straight out of the box in the opening scene, I was very surprised on how well the game ran, hitting a consistent 50 frames per second without changing any of the settings. But of course, we want to see if we can hit that at 60 FPS mark. So while I was on this lovely boat ride, I had to play around with the settings and found that on medium and high preset, indeed we could hit 60. This completely blew me away. 
Bear in mind though, this was during a scripted on rail scene and could change once the game lets us off the leash. So I fast tracked my way through some funny NPC interactions and that led me to a nice open area with lots going on. Even here on high settings, we were getting pretty consistent frame rates, but the cracks were starting to show a little bit around the edges. But to have a little bit of fun, I cracked up the settings to Atomic and to my complete shock, the game still maintained 60 frames per second. This is completely insane as some of the hardware we are on is over five years old. Though it wasn't all rainbows, on Atomic and Ultra, I was starting to notice a little bit of frame stutter as I moved the camera about. And whilst we were hitting 60 FPS, our averages and lows were dropping. Before we move on to the combat testing though, I do need to mention something. After moving through this stunning lobby, we had a short elevator ride to go collect our car keys and ahem, someone really went all out on this robot design. Someone needs to go to horny jail. Now that I have that off my chest, <clears throat> we can move on to combat, which I might add is a blast in this game. You have some really fun abilities and interesting weapons. It's a neat mixture of Bioshock and Dying Lights in some respects. During our combat tests, we tried three different settings, high, medium, and our own custom settings. On high, the cracks really did start to show. Whilst the frame rate stayed relatively consistent, it was not as smooth as I would like as the frame times were starting to creep up. This led to a little bit of tearing on screen that takes away from the combat, especially with a first person shooter. On the medium settings, the game really starts to shine. The combat is nice and smooth, the frame rate is pretty much a lock at 60 frames per second, and the lows never really drop below 30 all while maintaining a nice frame time. With lower end hardware, this is what I would recommend you play on if you don't want to change too many settings. Just set it to medium, turn on VSync and kill some robots. After that, I had a bit of a play around with my own custom graphical settings. I didn't change much as the game was running so well on the medium setting, but I did turn textures up to high and the animations up to high also. This gave me a little bit more eye candy without affecting the performance at all. Up on screen now, you can now see our graphs. These graphs had the numbers for all the graphical presets that we tried. So we've got one up there for Atomic. Bit of a meme, I know, because we're never gonna run that on our particular machine. Uh, we've also got high, medium, and our custom settings. But as, a, as you can see, those medium and custom settings are really where you're gonna get your most bang for buck with Atomic Heart. So if you really like first person shooters like I do, and you want them to run buttery smooth, especially on older hardware, have a little better of a play around with your settings. If you stick with those medium presets, if you don't really like changing too many things, stick with those medium presets and you're gonna have a good time. And I found that it didn't really take away too much visual quality from the game. If you're a little bit more confident, have a bit of a play around. Maybe turn up the textures, the animations, play with each of the settings, get comfortable, see what happens. At the end of the day, you're not gonna break anything at all because you can literally just change the preset back to whatever one you had in the at the start and that'll just reset all your graphical settings. So have a play around, don't stress, you won't break anything and see what you can get. So that's it for the video this week. This was Atomic Heart. My name's Part-Time Triggered or Mark and this is Part-Time Tech. Thank you very much for listening and I'll catch you next time. Have a good day.